Hi everyone, hope you're well. Um, just come out into the workshop today just to do another behind the scenes video to show you some of the things that we're working on here at Valve and Process Solutions. Um, we get a lot of different things going through the Valve Automation Center and th this week it seems to be a lot of positioners. So uh, this particular job we're working on, we've got some Keystone F89 uh, spring return actuators. And we've actually converted these actuators to fail open. So we've taken the ends off, we've turned the pistons over, we've put them back in, put the springs back, etc. So that it actually fails in the open position. And then today we fit in our Westlock K20 electro pneumatic positioner. Um, you may have seen some of uh, the features of this in our previous videos, um, our Meet the Products videos. Um, this positioner is an electro pneumatic positioner. Um, it works via um, a Hall effect sensor inside, so it actually senses. Um, the travel of the uh, actuator and works out how much air to put in there. Um, it's a nice piece of kit, it's globally certified, it's intrinsically safe as standard. Um, it comes with the Westlock beacon on top so you can see whether it's open or closed. And as I say, you can see that these ones are actually fail open. Um, it's got the clear lid on the top so that um, you can see the actual LCD um, display inside. This one's still on 4 milliamps so it's just on naught at the moment, but if we put it up to 12 milliamps it would go to 50%. 20 milliamps will go to 100% and all the various different um, positions in between. A um, couple of other features I like about this product. On the inside of the lid, um, you've got a little uh, calibration and instruction manual, so that's quite neat. Um, it comes with a paper um, piece inside which tells you where the 4 to 20 goes on the terminal strip and where the outputs are. It's got 4 to 20 milliamp retransmission as standard. Um, so if that's something that uh, is uh, something you want to use on site, it's actually built into this position as standard. And this particular unit here, um, these are actually going to a, a large uh, sugar manufacturer in the UK. They actually ask for IFM proximity sensors on there as well. So we've got the touch set cam inside, we've got the two sensors for verification of end of travel, so fully open and fully closed. And we set those for the uh, customer as well. Hopefully you can see in the video the little LCD display which gives you a percentage travel. It would also give you little error messages on there if there's uh, anything not working quite right with the positioner, say if the air pressure has dropped or something like that. Um, there's a little LED that flashes there. To auto-cal the positioner, it's just a two button function. So we press select, auto-cal would appear on the screen and then we would go into the actual calibration um, procedure and the positioner would work out how much air it takes to open and close the actuator and, and go through all the settings. Um, so it's a, a really nice piece of kit. It works really well with the Keystone actuator um, because we use the Westlock mod mount um, so it direct mounts straight on top of the uh, actuator and makes a real nice neat solution um, for an actuated package with an electro pneumatic positioner on top. So we've got a few of these to do um, today. We're going to um, pipe them up, test them, calibrate them and then we're going to get them out to the uh, out to the customer. Get the lid on. And there you have it. So thanks very much for watching.